Whoa, that's a... That's a bit much. Okay. We're fine, we're fine. Are we fine? We will be. Opening the gate? There's more of those power lights here and- oh, whoa. I didn't even notice. The puddles. There was no way the flashbang grenades were standard power company equipment. Yeah. Some of the ones from the police station or the police car, sure, but from a power company? Somebody's trying to help me. There ain't nothing back here. Which means we should probably have it equipped. There's a lot of these spots now. I don't need to clear everything. I just want to. The heavy duty flashlight doesn't even feel that heavy duty. Which probably means if it wasn't heavy duty, it would be even worse. Oh. The one behind me. Okay. Maybe that was a bit of a waste. That situation was fairly chill. Wait, these guys? Did I throw it? Whoa, that guy survived the bang. No, no, keep going, keep going. I need a shotgun today. Oh, whoa! That's it. That's it for my shotgun shells. The bigger guys just eat away the revolver ammo like it's nothing. So it's really necessary to switch it to the shotgun. But now we've got none. Now we've got none. There's only so much I can handle mentally. The daytime went by so quickly because Alan just sat in the mill waiting and that was it. I was so happy about seeing it before too. Wake and Barry in the cell. I stared through the bars of the jail cell. Barry stood behind me, swaying on his oh. feet, looking as ill as I felt. Agent Nightingale stood on the other side of the bars with Sheriff Breaker. Nightingale had a stack of manuscript pages in his hand. He seemed unhinged as he gloated. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all here. All the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. But that's like... After the fact. What was your original reason for wanting to arrest me? And I really hate how he keeps referring to me with other writers' names. It's so... It's so... Almost like he thinks it makes him look educated, but I feel like it's the opposite. Thermos. Oh, we're gonna get attacked here. What is this? But anything for the thermos. Anything. We don't need to go to the mines anymore, but it's open. Supplies? Oh, actually. Trust no one in the dark. Oh, 
thank you, thank you. Gotta love me some fly. Oh god, no. Okay, use one right now. Probably. The big fat guy won't go away. I don't got any more shotgun shells. These guys take a lot. Oh. Still worth it though. Got a whole bunch of flashbangs out of that. Light. Thank you. Thank you. Can I please have some shotgun shells? Yes. Yes. Just eight? Just eight? Oh, okay. Well, I'll, I'll live. I had no real plan. I was going to give the kidnapper all the manuscript pages I had for Alice. If that wasn't enough, I'd hold him at gunpoint and make him talk. Pump action shotgun. We now have 14 bullets. Uh, what's the difference? I don't know. But yeah, Alan, that's a pretty good plan. I mean, we don't have another plan right now, so... It's as good as it gets. Which way do we want to go? Oh, that ain't gonna help! This ain't gonna help! Wait, you guys are taking a lot of shotgun shells for no reason. Is it a circle here? Yeah, I think so. The main goal is to get over to the light. Okay. Can I round you all up in one place? Not this guy. Does this really help? A little bit. Okay. I feel like I should go around just to see... No, we were just there. Yeah, there's nothing in between. There better not be. Okay. Okay. That guy didn't- oh, this guy didn't get it. The oh, flashbang is necessary here. Thank God for all the equipment. Why does he keep falling the trees around here? The dark presence was moving ahead of me in the same direction I was going. A cold feeling settled itself in the pit of my stomach. Was it going for Alice? Don't you have Alice? The kidnapper has Alice? Cemetery. The graveyard shift may cause cancer. Really? Why? Because everyone's... Let's use a flare here. Because it kind of messes with sleeping patterns? Is that why? There's a fast dude. Okay, we gotta do something. Come over here. Ow! Whoa, that guy just hit me three times in one thing. But you see though, if you can't avoid all three of them, then you get brought down to almost no health at all. My goodness. 
scary. I wanted to know more about the graveyard shift, though. But that was the only factoid you had for me. Why? That's not good enough. Oh, thank the lord. Mm, there's a little bit of a hill here. It's trees! It's trees everywhere. Are we getting closer to Mirror Peak? I can't even tell. The place was dead. A ghost town. Had been for decades, maybe a century. Jeez. Oh, not this again. Hurry! Oh, I nearly died. Look at that. It hit me at the last second. I can't go in there. Wake and Casey. Case Alex Casey? Things were never as simple in real life as in fiction. I had lost count of the times I had wished there'd be a clear reason for my writer's block. Something to fight. Something to lash out on. There wasn't. I was filled with doubt. I was nothing like the hero in my books. Alex Casey had gone through his life with single-minded determination, never wavering from his goal. Even now, I was angry at myself. Angry at Alice. Angry at Barry. I was fumbling and I had no plan. Mmm, don't be so hard on yourself. You wrote the guy to be perfect. Or, you know, you wrote him to be very brave and smart and all that. But you're right, real life is not like fiction. It would be weirder if you had a plan in a situation like this, okay? What?! I mean, I didn't think we had a plan, but that was pretty bad. Oh! Something sparkling. Batteries. Not right now. Not right now. I was just gonna say, feels like we haven't seen a thermos in ages. Probably missing a lot here and there. I just want to get out of here. This is a nightmare. One that we can't escape from. Technically, if I really, really wanted to, I could just leave the island and that'll be fine, right? But we can't because... Our wife. Especially if she's my one and only. I can't just leave her here. Hmm. We gotta make use of the pillars. Stand by the pillars. See, it can't get me behind the pillars. There you go. There's more! Maybe a flare gun would be good here. Or just a good old flare. Oh my god! Oh, come on! That one's too big. Oh! We're fine, we're fine. Ooh. Don't like the sound of that. I feel like we're still in the the coal mine area. The town of the mine the mining town. We're still not out of the woods yet. Oh, we can't even make it past a tree. We'll be fine. Gotta be careful when there's multiple things, though.
There's one behind me too. I know. <laughs> but it's been stuck. It's been stuck. You know, when we put in the batteries, we only get half a bar back. We don't get a full bar back. Oh. Gotta be careful now. They can go by really quickly, if I let them. But we usually have more than enough anyway. Safe haven. Keys. Keys to the safe haven. Yes. Yes? Lights? Anything outside of riding is a struggle. I feel ill. I managed to make my way downstairs. There's a shoebox filled with books and papers by Thomas Zane. It's very hard to focus, but I managed to read some of it. He's a poet, and a good one. He writes of muses and creators summoning fabulous things from a magic lake, using his powers to shape the world of a realm of gods and dreams and demons, dark things that wait for a chance to slip through, wearing the flesh of men as disguise. Zane writes about himself, his girlfriend being taken over by a dark presence, about growing scared of the lake. Zane believes it's a mirror to the gaping void of darkness above, where some Lovecraftian presence lurks. I crawl back upstairs. I'll borrow these things for my story. They ring true. They fit. Well, according to what we've seen so far, the story that Thomas Zane wrote could very well be what we're living through right now. A mixture? Because Alan's borrowing elements for his own story too. Uh, that area that we see where Alan is, that's the cabin, right? The cabin in the beginning, when Alice gifted me a typewriter and all that. So it seems pretty likely that everything was happening during that one week we have no memory of. Hunting rifle? Pump action shotgun? I don't know which one's better. But I do know that I have more hunting rifle ammo right now. So let's do it. Are people not noticing this? Trees in the mountains randomly falling in the middle of the night. We're so far removed from the town that we're not hearing about the FBI or the police anymore. But we know that later, we do get caught. Hmm. If we know about things happening, it's kind of a tricky place to be in because it's like, then do we, do we even have any agency? Or are we just following a script the whole time? And if we are following a script, has the full thing been written? The kidnapper had sent me a text. The message was full of spelling errors and insults. It was telling me to hurry up. Yeah, this guy totally can't tell the difference between a good one and a bad one. Just give him some words on a page, it'll be fine. Birds. This again. Oh, they got split off into two things. I'm not moving till you all go away. Okay. Now you're back. Yeah, we have to split them off. They're leaving.
Are they leaving or are they just going to a place where I can't see them? Go away. Whoa! Not while I'm trying to do this, okay? We don't need to shoot. Just drive them off. Oh my god! Ow! I, I had my battery that time! Oh, I think I ran out of battery. Jeez! Do you want to come back? I'm trying to save up a little bit of battery so we can focus when they come around. But they ain't coming around. They want me to move forward. Go away. Oh, what is this? Well, at least we don't have to worry about birds anymore. It's a silver mine. It's really cramped in here. Tunnels go to Cauldron Lake. I'm scared to respond. There are two ways. Without warning, the headache stabbed at my brain. Oh no. Are we gonna be okay? Hunters taken. The hunters were big, thick-set men, confident and at home in the woods. They were feeling good, running on beer, ghost stories, and camaraderie late into the night. It did them no good, as they were taken by the dark presence, sucked deep into a darkness far worse than any ghost story they ever told or heard. Even worse for me, because these are the really big guys that took a lot of effort to kill. All these people, though? Everybody? Oh, I don't think we can go here. Everybody? Our people? And every time we kill somebody, we're really killing them? That's a scary thought. What the heck is leaking in the mines? Is this gonna collapse in on me? actually light. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Still got flashbangs. I don't like this. <laughs> Nightingale in the Majestic. Even behind the closed doors and curtains of his grimy room at the Majestic, the local motel, Nightingale could feel the locals' eyes on him, the unrelenting pressure of their judgment. He forced it out of his mind. For all he knew, they could all be under Wake's spell already. You do what you have to do to get the job done. He took comfort from the bottle in his hand. Please, he thought. Just let me get through this. So is he investigating me because... The FBI got some information that I'm putting people under spells with my magical manuscripts and all. We can almost think about this in the context of Control, because in Control, 
Whatever happened at Bright Falls was an Altered World event. So really, Nightingale, maybe he's working for the Federal Bureau of Control. For all we know. Maybe this guy's not such a bad guy after all. Underneath, he just wants to get a job done. Oh, great. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, great. Thank you. Thank you for opening a path for me. Oh, okay, that's... Wait, that's a lot of people. Hold on. Oh, we probably should use a flashbang here, I feel like. But it's too late for that! Is it? Okay, good. Hey, if the flashbang directly hits a person, then it immediately sets off. We don't have to wait for it to roll on the ground and stuff. Good to know. Not even a flare would have saved me there. But a thermos will. But yeah, even if that guy, Nightingale, is actually a good guy, it doesn't change that he's an asshole. <laughs> Being an asshole unnecessarily is just so counterproductive. People don't like you, people don't want to help you. That's it. Why would you do that to yourself? I'd have to make my way up this mine shaft in order to go on. Maybe the machinery could help me with that. Well, it better. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. Is this- Oh, no! <laughs> Why does this keep happening to me? That's like my fourth or fifth fall death already. Gosh. Is this mine still in use? All this stuff still works. Oh, this one, I can't get it straight. If I just put it in the middle like that, would that work? Oh, I have a very bad feeling about this. Okay. Here? No, we can just jump down here. Simple enough. Oh, and then I have to move the elevator up one more floor. This should be fine, right? But then what's the point of me going up over here? Oh, I can go this side too, maybe? Ooh, that jump doesn't seem like I'll make it. I'll pass. Oh, I thought there was a ladder here. There wasn't. So I guess I gotta lower this a little bit then. And then we'll get across, and then move the elevator up one last time. Oh my god! <laughs> Saw my life flash before my eyes. There is a ladder here, but we gotta kick it down. Uh -huh. mm, we don't actually have to move this one that much, right? This should be fine. Okay. I guess the bad thing about the PC version is that if you want to run, the first thing you gotta do is dodge. We have to dodge before we can start running. So sometimes the animations are a little bit weird. And I did see some people say that on the PC version, you can't aim the flashlight without focusing. Which is just the way it is. It's not too big of a deal though, because we have a lot of batteries all the time. 
Should I be going down or up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm out of here, all of you. Guessing maybe I should check up first. <laughs> Seriously, the way Alan runs, he looks so tired. Nothing here? Flares! I knew I came back for a reason. Now I'm probably gonna get attacked right away. Okay. Thermos. Thermos. What? What's the point? Oh, oh, there's a page. Tor hits Nurse and Claire. Lightning flash behind the windows of Cauldron Lake Lodge. Tor Anderson laughed and held the steel hammer above his head. Nurse Sinclair was trying to calm him down without success. Tor grinned madly and shouted, My hammer's up. Here's a friendly poke from Mulnir, wench. He brought the hammer down with all his might on Sinclair's head. We're on a comeback tour, baby. Oh my god. Tor and Odin Anderson. Those were the rockers at the diner. Why are they killing the nurse? Oh my god. That's... A hammer! That's no joke! Is that Mirror Peak? It better be. It better be. Okay, now we go down for real. So far, the police still haven't caught on that this is where I am. There's no danger of me being caught at all. I don't know if I want them to be here or not because... What's gonna happen when we see the kidnapper, Mott? Is he gonna believe that I have all the pages here? I hope so. He should. How is he gonna know how many pages more are necessary anyway? Just give him some words, it'll oh, be fine. Great, another cable car. Just great. Yeah, I've got so many good memories of those. Ain't that lovely? He gave me a flare gun. I still haven't used it yet. Yeah, I know you're coming. I got a big flashlight. Hey! Hey! Oh my god. Is that better? Oh, they're so aggressive here. away for the one second oh no hurry what what not again Okay. That wasn't the best landing, but we're okay. We're alive. We'll be fine. I think we're really close, though. The last stretch before we're getting to the peak. And then the stuff about the flare. Oh! Shit. And then something with Mott throwing a flare and me falling into the lake. So for all we know, this is probably not going to go that well. Hey. Oops. Oh, 
Oops. The end point of the light is the um, crosshair. Smoke. Smoke? Why is there a smoke? Get my flashbang ready. Y'all wanna come over here? Oh, the last guy didn't get caught. Yeah, you see? That animation. We have to dodge first. <laughs> Okay, we're good, we're good. Cauldron Lake, yet again! The eighth deepest lake in the world, Cauldron Lake is a caldera lake, formed in a volcanic crater. The volcano itself could be considered to be active, but it has not erupted since the volcanic earthquakes of 1970. And even then, the underground activity was comparably mild. Despite some property damage, there were no casualties. Really? What about Thomas Zane and Barbara Jagger? Cauldron Lake is one of the most beautiful spots in the Bright Falls area, as well as a central figure in many local folk tales. It's a popular recreational area for the area residents. No, it's not here. We're going there now. Anything up here? No, let's not- let's not look around too hard. <laughs> I don't want to die. It's almost as if the volcanic eruption caused some kind of magic to leak out. Ah! Well, it keeps doing that. Slow and steady. People coming on both sides. Great. Just put a thing there. What about the guy behind me? I don't like feeling trapped, so you gotta go. Oh! Oh, that was close. Okay, but there's people throwing their axes at me. Good. Who are you people? With all your sickles. People don't camp with sickles. God. By the time this is all done and over with, how many residents will we have killed? I don't even want to think about that. I mean, assuming we make it out of this alive. Which, you know, obviously we do. <laughs> because Alan Wake is gonna meet Director Faden, right? Maybe? Thank you, thank you. Oh, that's gotta be where we gotta go, right? Mirror peak lookout point. Oh. Mott at Cauldron Lake. Mott had checked all of Stucky's rental cabins. There had been no sign of the wakes. It was dark when he'd found their car parked at the end of the road by Cauldron Lake. It made no sense. They must have taken a wrong turn, but there was no sign of them and the car had been there for hours already. Frustrated, Mott stood on the rotten ruin of the footbridge that had once led to Diver's Isle before it sank beneath the waves years ago. The boss wouldn't be happy. Yeah, so for sure, Mott is not working with the Dark Presence, but he also knows about the magical stuff. 
But us being at that cabin kind of threw off his plans. It's not what they expected. Him and his boss, whoever his boss is. I'm famous, so there could really... There's a lot of people who probably don't like me. It's hard to see who it can be. God, I nearly died again. Oh, you're gonna break it? Seems a little bit extreme, but okay. Well, the door got sealed. Hey. Hey! Give me that. Give me that. Oh! Oh. What? Tom, Tom, Tom. Cynthia Weaver and Thomas Zane. You talked to me on TV. Tom, Tom. I miss you, Tom. Did you write this? I curse you, Thomas Zane. Thomas Zane loved Barbara Jagger. But Cynthia Weaver loved Thomas Zane? But Barbara Jagger also liked Thomas, right? So... It wasn't really a triangle. Since Cynthia Weaver... Hmm, she just wasn't really part of the story. That's my understanding, so far. If we want to know more, we'll probably have to talk to her about it. There's no guarantee that she'll know what I'm talking about though, because it's been... It's been like 50 years by now. Of course. And no more flashbangs, unfortunately. Come on! I've got plenty of flares. We don't gotta be shy about using them. Oh! I can use my flare gun. I haven't even used it once. Does the flare gun kill people? It does! Oh! For some reason, I was under the impression it doesn't. Which is why I haven't really been using it. I guess because- Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Because flares don't kill people, but flashbangs do. So I thought the flare gun also doesn't kill people. But it does. Here we go. Now we can pick some of that up. Flash! Flare guns, good stuff. Can we still get across? Kind of. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. I must have, like, 30 plus thermoses by now. Am I actually drinking out of it? Is that how I stay up during the night? I'm awake during the morning, awake during the night. I could see Cauldron Lake. I thought I could make out the spot where the island and the cabin had been. There was a light near it. It had to be a boat. Mott? You can also see the lodge from here. I was close now. I had to get there fast. I dreaded what I would find. Wake wakes up in the lodge. Oh no, speak of the devil. I tried to hold on to Alice, but her form melted away. I was losing control. Dr. Hartman stood in her place. 
I wanted to hit him, but my arms were jelly. He smiled. It was a reassuring smile, and I hated him for it. I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. You went through another rough period. Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. Have been for a while? Did I forget? He's treating me. What? I'm not crazy. All I have is a writer's block. That's not being crazy. Why do I gotta be admitted? Wait! Are you? Wait! Hey, I'm here! I'm coming! Uh, no! Get away! Sorry! Please, lady! The boss didn't know who he was messing with! I, I didn't know! I swear, I didn't know! We don't have his wife! We don't know where oh. she is! She's probably brown! We just said we had her! Barbara Jagger was here. More importantly, Alice. <laughs> ah, Alan grabbed the flare and fell into the lake. That'll be my second time. He doesn't have Alice, though. We were right, back at the police station. That voice clip he played on the phone. It wasn't really her. Ah. Uh.